Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is a little triangular tea pouch, which actually also holds three by three cards and their envelopes too. But it's really sweet. And let me slide off this bit and it pops open. Two tea bags in there, and these are English tea shop ones, but it will hold other tea bags because as I said, this will hold a three by three card, so it's three and a quarter centimetres in each, uh, sorry, three and a quarter inches in each way. 8.3 centimetres, has been done deliberately like that. Um, but yeah, just pop your tea bags in there, or your card, your note card and envelope, or your three by three card and envelope. Tuck that bit in, and it closes up, and it's actually completely freestanding. You don't need the band. I put the band on because it's pretty and I had tea bags in there and I thought I'm going to use the tea shop ribbon and then I thought what am I going to make with my next one I'm using mint macaron only because I haven't used it for ages and I think it's really pretty okay so you need a piece of cardstock oh, actually you need to stamp the cardstock first but the cardstock does need to be nine and a half inches by five and a quarter that is 24 centimeters by 13.3 I'm going tone on tone as I've done with this one. This is Coastal Cabana. This one's Mint Macaron, Mint Macaron ink. And I've got my Falling Flowers. I love this for background stamping. This design here in particular is awesome. And I have got the framelits to match because that's the little flower on the front. That's the May, <coughs> excuse me, Mayflower flame. Look, Mayflowers framelits. And you've got, with this framelit set, some designs that will go round things there's another one in there but you've also got sort of standalone bits as well um, so that's the standalone that goes around one of those that goes around that one another standalone that one goes around there and that one goes around there with something stuck on it but actually like I said I'm grabbing this one out rather than stamping and pulling bits out but I love it I've had this set for a long time it's been around in our catalogue for quite a while or at least two years if not more so I've loved it and used it many, many times. But like I said, I do like this big swirly background stamp. And actually, I've used it so much, it kind of doesn't stick on there anymore. OK, let me grab a block. This is an e-block. That's a really grubby e-block. Let's get a clean one. <clears throat> clean e-block. I put them through my dishwasher the other day. Actually, technically, Chris, my husband, put them through the dishwasher for me. But they do go through. I have since stamped with black stays on and wrecked that one. So that's going to have to go back through the dishwasher. Um, I did post a photograph of it on Instagram. I'm just going to randomly sample over. Yeah, I posted a photograph of all my blocks after they'd come out of the dishwasher. And a couple of people said, whereabouts in the dishwasher did you put them? I don't know. So I asked Chris and he went where there was space. So I don't think it matters <laughs> where in the dishwasher you put them. Just chuck them in. Um, I have done the manual clean before where, you know, you use surgical spirit or you know alcohol wipes and stuff like that but I've got a lot of blocks I have at least three of all of them because not because I need them essentially I mean obviously you can manage with one of each or you could actually even manage with just a certain few but I like to have lots for when I'm filming I can just you know grab one stamp with it leave it on its block and you know if I need the same size block, then I can just grab that, grab another one. Um, but I would say this one is my most used. This one by the fact that it's pink. So this is a B. Definitely use a lot of this one. This is a C. So those, I would say, are the ones that I use most of all. I use this one quite a lot. This is an H. Um, but yeah, I use those a, a lot. But I do have, like I said, I have some of everything. This one's particularly good if you're doing big stuff and you need things to glue and, st and dry that works really well keeping stuff in place let's get one for that with herbs alone okay let me move those out of the way so let's get scoring i'm going to score on the long side first at whoops three and a quarter oh i've got the wrong end on three and a quarter six and a half and eight and a half inches and in metric because you want to fit the three by three card with seven and a half centimeter card and its envelope as well um, but not have it too big or too small 
8.3, 16 and a half, 21 and a half. Okay, that's where you're going to score those ones. And then turn it round and score it at one inch and four and a quarter, which in metric, two and a half and again, 10.8. So like I say, it does feel a bit weird for the metrics, but a three by three envelope or an envelope for a seven and a half by seven and a half centimetre card is a funny measurement. And you don't want it so big that you've got all, you know, loads of space going around. That's just no good. Okay, super simple to do. Let me just slide this open again so you can see. It's very, very simple. There's minimal cuttage. <laughs> That's such a technical word. Minimal cutting. So we're just taking this bit away here and a little trim on all those parts as well. So let's hope these are the good clean scissors. Possibly not. I'm cutting there. Now, can you see this lump? I'm cutting to the right of it, so I'm cutting the lump away. So there's the lump, which is my scored part. Get rid of that. And the same over here. And actually, this one wedges in very slightly. Or is this quite the deep? No, this is the deep. Is this the deep wedge? No, it's just a little wedge. And that one there. And we're going to cut quite an angular triangle. You don't need to measure it, but you know, make it an obvious triangle. Same here. Oh, make that a bit wider. And then just a little wedge off here as well. There and there. And that is how this is all going to fold together and not get stuck. And if you don't take out these wedges, it doesn't it doesn't want to close. You need to round that off. And I left my rounder down here. Bear with me. Just sliding down my desk. And back again. <laughs> with my detail trio punch to do this corner. So you line up these two points. There's two little butt bars there. And you make it fit into both of them. And the same there, and then you know you're perfectly in the corner. Grab your tea bags. Peppermint tea and English breakfast. Not a tea fan myself, definitely not an English breakfast tea. Ugh. Not good. So there we go. So that is freestanding now. So all I need to do now, do a little bit of die cutting, I hope. Did I just put that away? Did I put it? No, it's here. <laughs> I can't pick it up. Ugh. <laughs> it's on my desk and I can't pick it up. There we go. There we go. Is that going to fit on that bit? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Magnetic platform. Don't really need it. Um, I've got my big shot just off camera. through it hasn't Does that cut through nearly let me get that through again I'm just going to run it through the big shot again now it's cut through perfect okay so oh I need my brush but that's that really is down the other end of the office I moved the office around if you have a look on my business page Poodle's uh, Paper Craft, that's my Facebook business page, you'll see where I changed this around. And actually I haven't given myself any extra desk. What I've done is I've taken a U-shaped desk um, that I'd created and I've turned it into one long, long desk. And so I slide up and down. Um, and so I've got about, I've just got on about four and three quarter metres of desk and I slide up and down it. <laughs> and yeah, my dye shop dye brush is about two meters away from me. Okay, so what I've got here, I've got my big faceted gems. I want the silver ones, and then I'm going to get a mini glue dot and put it on 
this part here, this little edging bit there. So that's going to anchor it in place. On there, silver faceted gem over the circle. And all I need to do is finish it off. Now I don't have a mint map on it. I don't know if we do one, but I quite like the copper. So bring that in. Tie off a little bow. position it and then trim off the edges oh and I've lost my gem <laughs> the gem popped off I think it's because it's not completely it's sitting proud of the hole there we go and that is rather lovely let me bring in my first one again oops throw the tea bags around this would be a nice a nice little pillow gift if you've got guests coming to stay and you've maybe left them with um, tea making facilities in their bedroom if you, you know, something like that. Or just a nice treat, great swaps if you're going to on the stage. Um, I think rather lovely. And like I say, totally freestanding. And as I said, you can fit three by three cards and envelopes in there. Anyway. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.